Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, I'm just stopping by for the cheek the Kiko Urban Six in One stroller. Um, then welcome to my channel. Um, please hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more baby related videos that may help you. And yeah, I hope you guys like my review. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is the base of the stroller. It's four wheels. The back ones are bigger than the front ones. The basket is a decent size. Uh, I personally, before buying the stroller, before buying the stroller, I didn't know anything about strollers. I didn't like, I just wanted the cutest one. Personally, need a bigger basket for myself. But it is a pretty good size. It's not the smallest basket, but it's a pretty good size. It comes with this cup holder. Most strollers that you'll see out there, the cup holder is sold separately. Then I have the mommy hook. I don't know if you guys can see it from there. But I have the mommy hook uh, sold separately as well. It's, an, it's not by Kiko. It's by another brand. Then I have this Skip Hop. Um, cup holder bag thing it's not too sturdy so um, I'm not like all in love with it but it does its job um, depending on how full your cup is it can tilt over and it'll spill so but it's kind of like what I have so I just stuck with the this is the brake right here it's really easy to push up and down I know most rollers, some of them hurt when you're wearing saddles to do up and down, but this is pretty easy, so I like that about it. Um, it has two brakes in the front, right here. So, it makes them, I'm not really sure what the function for that is, but that is one of the cons and problems that I have with the stroller. So, maybe it's because I just don't know how to work this part of it. Um, as you're scrolling, the wheels will lock, so it'll be hard to turn. And sometimes, like, I will fix one, but then the other one locks, and it's just hard to get them both right at the same time because you don't know at what position they're in or, like, what brake is on. So, yeah, it's just one of the problems I have most of the time with it. Lately, it's kind of not as bad, but in the beginning, when I was new with the stroller, it was pretty bad. I was like, I always had trouble turning, but I kind of got it down now. So I'm going to start with the car seat, which is basically what a newborn uses first. At least that's what um, I had my baby using first. So right here, this is the base. This is the car seat adapter actually. And it has direction. So it says, travel di direction of travel it lets you know what way to face the car seat um, so you can face it two ways you just click it onto these little like inserts that it has and both side click so my arrows are pointing you guys and that means my car seat is gonna face you guys so you hear it click it clicks at the back this is what it looks like I love the car seat strollers that have car seat adapters. This stroller only takes the, the Kiko KeyFit 30. I'm not sure if it takes the Kiko KeyFit 20, but it doesn't specify at all. And while I was at Baby's R Us, the person who helped me said just to get this one to be on the safe side. Um, the car seat retails for $2.99 or 250 somewhere around there so it's pretty pricey and it's probably the cheapest you're gonna find and the stroller itself retails for $3.99 so this is a pricey stroller if you ask me um so this is the stroller setting so if you want to switch the car seat around this is all you have to do you I don't know if you guys can see this but there's a little orange handle right here the same orange handle that you use for the car base so the base that goes in your car for the car seat, you just push it up and your car seat comes right off. And you can switch this over. 
Okay, so the car seat just goes right in. Flicks, now the baby is facing you. Um, this car seat, personally, to me, is pretty heavy as the baby gets older. So you might want to do your research on um, the weights of the car seat. So if you have like a 23 pound um, eight month old, which was how much Sophia weighed, plus an eight pound car seat, uh, that's pretty heavy guys. I think it's like five to eight pounds, I'm not pretty sure. But I know it's pretty heavy, I did do my research on it once I couldn't even carry the car seat anymore. I have to take this off, sometimes get stuck, so you just push these two little latches and it'll come right off. So that's the car seat adapter. Then the next stage or your second option for an infant is going to be the bassinet. So what I do like about this six in one is that the bassinet is the seat as well. So you don't need to have two different seats or a bassinet and a seat, which can get like um, kind of, it takes up a lot of space. So I like the fact that this is the, the bassinet and the seat as well. So it's the same way as you put the car seat base, I mean top chair base thing. So you're just gonna put it right in. And so this would be the bassinet setting. I think it's super cute. This is the main reason why I got it, because of the bassinet. And it has a, I'm not sure what this is called guys, but I would use it when it gets, I used it when it was cold. So this is facing the world. This is facing you. It's pretty easy to switch. So you can just have it this way. I love the bassinet setting. The seat cushion is super good, guys. Like I love the, I really do love that about it. And it's really easy to set up. It has three settings. So this that was laying all the way back. This is halfway, and this is all the way down. So that's all the way down. And to sit the seat, it, you would it has this little latch back here or this like little pushy thing and you just pull the strings all the way up and now the seat is sitting. And it also has, I'm gonna take the cover off. It has the same setting right here, three positions. So one, all the way up to catch any toys when they throw them, halfway, and all the way down. So my, car, my seat is pretty dirty, doesn't matter how many times I wash it, she always ends up dirtying it. So down here, you guys won't be able to see this, but it has this clip, clip right here, that you clip to lift the foot position up. And so this is still sitting this, the child up. And then it has this one right here that clips back here as well. And now it gives it this little foot rest position. Okay, so this is a seat sitting all the way up. And one thing I didn't like about the stroller is the fact that you cannot buy a snack tray with it. As Sophia got older, I found that it was it's so hard to feed her out in public because of, there's no snack tray or to even give her snacks. So I really don't like that about the stroller. Um, mainly because as they get older, you really do need it or to hold a cup. Uh, she has nowhere to put her stuff. So yeah, but the belly bar is kind of useful. She likes to sit up and hold on to it. Um, it also has this height adjuster, so it goes it goes pretty high, guys. So this is all the way high, and we have halfway, and we have all the way down, and basically that's it. So now let's just get into the folding part. I'm not a big fan of the folding part. If you have a big car, and this is perfectly fine for you, I have a Honda and it is the Civic. So just imagine how small my trunk is. So basically it has these two little pushy things right here and your hand is gonna go all the way down and you're just gonna lift it up. It'll click so you know that it folded. It has this hand right here to carry. If you ever need to take it on the go or on a train, on a bus, the only thing 
that I have trouble with is going to Disneyland, guys, because um, parking is always super far, and you have to put your stroller in the bus. So I can't have my baby carry my stroller and my seat. You just can't do it. Not even having someone else do it with help me. It's nearly impossible, guys. So that's another thing I don't like about it, and it's just one piece and it's lightweight. So this is definitely considered a full-size stroller. Beware. Um, obviously, I didn't do my research before I brought a stroller. And but if you do always have help and you have a big car. It's a pretty good stroller for you. It's a great stroller. I love it for that reason. But I unfortunately cannot switch my car, but I can switch my stroller. So I will be buying a lightweight, more compact stroller. And because this is the only thing that fits in my trunk. I forgot to mention that the seat in sitting position can go both ways. And oh, actually, there is one more thing I should warn you guys about it. Um... I'm gonna have to show it to you guys. And I'm just gonna wrap it up right after that. So, the only way that you get easy assess access to your basket is this way. So if you notice, the biggest opening is right here. There's still not too much room. Um, I don't have my diaper bag here with me at the moment, but to get my diaper bag out of here, I have to lift the seat up. So that's completely impossible to do with my child in the seat. Super heavy. So this way, facing you, there is no way you're getting anything out of there. There's no way. Just maybe like if there's only like one thing down there and it's not a diaper bag guys that's the only way you're gonna get down there that's pretty much it it's not the right stroller for me but it can be the right stroller for a lot of you guys it's super cute it is the most affordable one that does all of this in one because I know that the other ones are all like in the thousands so basically this is the cheapest one that does all these functions that I've seen. It's a cute stroller. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I will be purchasing another stroller because I'm simply just not gonna get a new car. But I can get a new stroller. I will be look I'm looking into either buying the the Nuna Mix 2 because that one is a compact stroller. So yeah, I hope you guys like my video and i hope you guys enjoy this stroller if you guys do have it or do decide to purchase it enjoy the stroller be aware of it being a full-size stroller and yeah thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe please no negative comments on what i had to say about the stroller remember we all have our own opinions okay bye guys